The Fairfax County landfill it was originally a municipal waste solid landfill, but that part is now closed and, and is out now only a monofill of ash. So the, the Beehive Initiative was an idea I had um, because I, I found myself managing this large facility with lots of grass and turf area. I wanted to do the meadows to help the county in, in a couple different reasons. Um, one, um, it, it lowers our maintenance costs by reducing the amount of times we mow the facility, especially well in those areas where the meadows are gonna be established. Um, and the other thing it does is it helps with our water retention on site and um, the cleanliness of our stormwater basins. Meadows need pollinators, and um, I knew the bees would do a good job for us. So going back through um, the history of uh, my college careers at George Mason, I remembered Herman Perea, um, who was in my classes at the time, uh, was a bee expert from Columbia. Uh, so I looked him up, um, and sure enough, he was now teaching about bees and beekeeping at George Mason University. The perception that people have about landfills is not very clean. So one of the things is actually to bring pollinators to a landfill and change that perception. And it is to change the landfill into a productive ecosystem. And we are doing that through honeybees. And our mission is to educate, do research, and provide a better connection between people and bees. Today, we came to inspect the colonies. So basically what we are looking for is if there is a queen presence, we also want to see how prolific that queen is and how the resources on the colony are at this moment. I will assume that there are probably between 40 and 50,000 bees per colony. On this area, we are going to use the bees not only for honey and wax production, but we are also going to do research. We don't have to forget that we are actually studying the transition of a landfill into a productive ecosystem. Being able to participate in a sustainability project that ties the environmental um, you know, protection essentially of providing services, these ecosystem services uh, that these pollinators provide, it's just fantastic.